Hey everybody, what you just heard was an excerpt from a song that I play with my band here in Tucson. Um, and in this excerpt, there is something called a Neapolitan chord. And that's what I'm going to be doing my lesson on today, Neapolitan chords. Neapolitan chords were um, originally used in classical era music. That's where they were developed during that time period, the, the classical era. Um, they were used by composers like Bach and Mozart. Um, and they give progressions of a very classical feel, as you will hear later in this lesson, and as you heard earlier in my, uh, in my excerpt. There are some prerequisites for this lesson because this is, it's not really a beginner level topic, it's kind of more intermediate than beginner. Um, so as such, you need to know your major and minor scales, how to construct them and how to find the notes in them. So if I told you to play C major, you would know to play and you would know that the notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. And if I asked you to find the fifth note in A minor, you would know that that note is E. And if I asked you to find the second note in you know, C major, you would know that that's D. In this lesson, we're going to go through the construction of Neapolitan chords, you know, how to make a Neapolitan chord, and the application of Neapolitan chords, so how you can use it in a riff or progression. All right, for this part, I'm going to need a hat because we are going to do some construction of Neapolitan chords right here. Construction. Um, so basically, there we go. All right, I feel ridiculous. <laughs> basically, a Neapolitan chord is just like <laughs> any other major chord ever, really. So it, any major chord that you could play is a potential Neapolitan chord. So if you, you know, any of these are potential Neapolitan chords. Any of those chords I just played could be a Neapolitan chord. What makes a Neapolitan chord Neapolitan is the context that it's in. Um, and basically that context is that it is the flattened, or that the chord is built on the flattened second degree of a scale. Now, let, let me show you what that means. Um, let's use A minor as our example here. So if you have A minor, um, you have the A minor scale. If you take the second degree of that scale, which is B, that B note right there, you flat it, you now have B flat you build a major chord on that note. So you have B flat major with the notes B flat, D, and F. That is a Neapolitan chord, but only because it is relative to the scale A minor. <coughs> Otherwise, it would just be another major chord. Now, um, in classical era music, the Neapolitan chords were often voiced in first inversion and sometimes second inversion rather than in root position. Now what this means is, let's say for first inversion, um, you take the bottom note of the chord, so in this case that's B flat, and put it at the top. So instead of B flat D F, you now have D F B flat. That's first inversion. Now, to do second inversion, you just repeat the same process again, only this time D will be on the bottom. And you put that on the top and go forward with that. Um, this doesn't really apply so much to modern garage band music, like and anything other than, you know, classically voiced, like arrangements and um, like orchestras, bands. It doesn't really apply too much outside of that because of the nature of guitars and how they sound, and all that. Um, so to each their own, and voice the chord however you want, whatever sounds good to your ears. Now we're going to learn how to apply Neapolitan chords to riffs and progressions. So I feel that it would just be easiest to do this through example, and I'll, I'll talk as I do it. So we're going to use, first, I'm going to do it in A minor and a major scale both of them. 
Um, I'm going to start with the minor scale, so we're going to do A minor again. So let's construct our Neapolitan chord. You take the second degree, which is B, flat it, build a major chord on it. And um, now we have our Neapolitan chord, B flat major. And um, keeping that in mind, we're, we're now going to learn how to apply it to a progression. So I'm going to use a progression in A minor to uh, illustrate this. And here is that progression. And what that was was um, A, D, or A minor, D minor, and E major. So basically A, one, four, major five in the key of A minor. <clears throat> and um, Neapolitan chords, the way that you can apply them, one of the, or it is probably the most common way of applying them, is you substitute it for the second or fourth degree chords of a scale because they have subdominant functions and so do Neapolitan chords. So in this in this progression, what I played the one, four, major five, I'm gonna substitute it for the four chord, which was D minor. I'm gonna substitute D minor with uh, B flat major. And you're gonna see what the Neapolitan chord sounds like now. Or what the Neapolitan chord sounds like in that progression now. So here it is. And that was A minor, B flat major, and E major. And the way you would notate that, like I said with the other progression, it was 1, 4, major 5. This is 1, N major 5. The Neapolitan chord gets represented with an N in progressions like that. And now I'm going to do it with a major scale. So we're going to do C major now. Let's construct our Neapolitan chord. We have C major. <laughs> You take the second degree, which is D, and you flat it, construct a major chord on that. So D flat major. Now um, I'm going to give you a progression in C major, and here it is. Do that progression, so we'll edit that out. And here it is. And that was C major, G major, and F major. So basically a 1, 5, 4 progression with a 1 back at the end, C major tagged on the end. Um, so, like I said, we can substitute it for the second or fourth degree, and there's a fourth, or it's the, sec the chord's built on the second or fourth degree. And there is a fourth degree chord in here, that's F major. So I'm going to substitute the, the uh, D flat major chord for the F major chord. And this is what the new progression sounds like. That was, again, C major, G major, D flat major, and then C again. So a 1, 5, N, 1. Um, and you'll notice that in major context, the Neapolitan chord has a slightly different feel. Well, it does to me anyway. It has a slightly different sound and a feel than it does in the minor context. And I almost feel like the composers of the classical era feel the same way because most of the time Neapolitan chords were used in a minor scale context. Thanks everybody for watching and I hope you learned a little bit from this lesson. If you have any questions or comments, leave me a personal message or um, comment on the video and I'll get back to you. Thanks.